Hello, I am Bianca and today in your daily capsule we present Liberated by the Truth. It's almost midnight and I keep thinking about my problems. If even God listens to me, if anything, my parents in the room are going like normally. For me, it was. But God had a purpose that same night in my life. It would be the night I would cry up to Him. I began to feel a need in my heart and remembered what I heard in the church. That day, there was talk of how the Word of God make us free from all of our sins. And I spontaneously began to pray. I didn't know why. I was confused at first. I cried insistently. My parents listening to me worried and talked to me. They understood me. I couldn't believe it. That same morning I was talking to my friends. How come I'm not praying and regretting it? For me, that night was unforgettable. I knew God accepted me in spite of all my weaknesses and sins. But I remember this Bible verse that if your sins are red as a crimson, God turns them white as white wool. And my heart was full broken. I could not contain the tears that ran from my eyes. My parents began to pray. And so did I, as this was my heart softened. And I felt God's presence, all the testimonies. I heard became a reality in my life. Gradually, the thoughts I had faded, they no longer existed. My heart was filled with love for my parents, for my friends, my family, but not a love like before. This time it was a true love, a love that came from God. I heard my parents were apologizing for everything I did, for responding badly, for breaking the rules they set for me and giving it against me, whenever I could. That night Jesus broke all the chains that upon me to sin, all without exception. I kept praying in my heart, remembering everything I did. As despite knowing the word of God, I was lost more and more in the word. But God spoke to me that night and said, I am with you. I will never leave you alone. Just as I was in your hard childhood, I will accompany you and sustain you as a maybe. Maybe you are having a hard time and you say, I can't do it anymore. Remember that Jesus died on the cross of the ordeal for the salvation of your soul. He will never let you fall. I hope it will serve as a reflection. Remember that God loves you. God bless you.